The freedom of the city of Johannesburg was awarded to four women who participated in the Women's March to the Union Buildings in Pretoria on August 9, 1956. Raima Musa, Helen Joseph, Lillian Ngoni and Sophie De Brain received Johannesburg's highest civic honour on Thursday for their role in the struggle for human rights and equality in South Africa. De Brain, the only surviving leader of the event, said she received the award on behalf of all the women who sacrificed their lives for women's rights. They never ask these things that I'm doing here today, what will it pay me, what will I get in return? We just did it because it was the right thing to do, it was necessary at the time. My mother was eight months pregnant with me when she was on the march and when she um, found, you know, she asked her father for advice on the march, seeing that she was eight months pregnant. He said to her that, well, I'm afraid even if you give birth on the pavement, you have to attend the march, <laughs> which she did. <laughs> In 1954, the government started issuing passes to black South African women. The pass law system was a cornerstone of apartheid policy because it restricted the free movement of people. Uh, I, I think you young people will never be able to imagine the kind of injustices that, that were there during that time. It is, it is very discouraging when you speak to young people and they don't know some of these things which is very important to them for them to know. So I think that uh, I am invigorated, I am encouraged and I am in inspired. Today has done all that for me. The Freedom of the City Award is a rare honour bestowed on individuals who have made exceptional contributions to South Africa and Johannesburg, City Mayor Mpo Parkstow said. In recognition of their leadership as individuals during that process, but certainly in recognition of all the women that participated in the petition of more than 100,000 and in a march of 20,000 people. It is recognition of collective effort towards ensuring the, att the attainment of liberation of women and the emancipation of women in our country. But it is also for us a period in which we can reflect on how far we've come in the emancipation of women, what challenges remain and what we need to do. This award has only been conferred five times in the past to Walter Susulu, Bayez Nudia, Nelson Mandela, Joe Slover and Ahmed Katrada. Chrissy Jacobs for SAPA.